Hey everyone, Momo the Builder here. Today I'm going to show you how to swap an electrical wired light, outdoor light, to a solar light that requires no cabling, no wiring, and how to fix it appropriately. Alright, so first step is, you can see that the light is clearly on. This is motion detected and uh, turns on during the night time or when it detects that uh, less light is coming towards it. So, first off is turning off all the breakers. So, any current going through it can affect you and probably hurt you. So, best thing is to make sure that all the breakers, the power of this is off. So, next is taking this off and disassembling it. Alright, so for my light fixture, I had to use a a uh, pliable wrench to get these off and then an actual socket which was uh, I think five millimeters but I loosened that up so now I can take these two nuts off for some reason they're different than the original I'm not too sure why but now that we have that off you should be able to see normally not this gunk leaves and stuff but you'll see the hot, neutral, and ground wires, which you can just disconnect. So I'll take those off real quick. And we also have a ground, which is just, it looks like a normal Phillips, and it came off very easily, which I guess is bad wiring. But now what we can do is take this fixture off, and put on the new one and take this wire out. So uh, first thing I'm gonna do is take this wire out and we're gonna reuse it for an outlet plug. Now, if you don't have an outlet that you can replace it with, you can simply take it all the way back to the breaker and um, just take it out and now it's unused. Or Simply, what you could do is just cap each of these wires, the hot, the neutral, and the ground, and then it's just useless. It's dangling, so it's not a complete circuit. It's not quote-unquote dangerous. Um, it's not up to code either, but if you're doing it on your shed or whatever, it's okay. It's not going to hurt anything. So long as you have these wires not touching each other, there's no short circuit or any problem with it. Um, it should be all right. So I'll go ahead, take this bracket off, take the ground off, and pass it through. And then I'll show you the solar installation. All right, so now we just have the bracket to remove. So I'm gonna go ahead, loosen up this ground. And then the two screws to hold in the bracket. came out very easy. Alright, so now we have the electrical wire that goes from the light fixture to the breaker. So I'm just going to pull this back through the other side so we can use that for the outlet. Alright, so now we just have this whole outlet to use for the solar fixture. Now, what the solar fixture has is just a hook here. So eventually, I'm gonna have to caulk in this hole, fill it in with wood or something. Uh, most likely, I'm just gonna use um, caulk to do that. And I'll do that after I install it. And they give two mounting screws for that. So the hook, of course, is facing upwards um, when we put it in shouldn't be a problem, very easy to install, and then we should be able to just hook it on and we're done. And then after that, we have the outlet to install. Alrighty, so now we can install the new bracket. I pre-drilled the hole in the top hole that held the original bracket here. That was the right size for our new screw. So I'll install that one first. 
And one thing to note is that the hole that the original cable went through does not match the size of the bracket. So that is an issue. I'm not sure if you can see this, but here we have probably a quarter inch on each side that has a gap. So I'll probably fill that with caulk or something. Um, I know that's not the prettiest, but it's kind of what needs to be done for what we have. Um, but I mean, if you have a wood dowel big enough or you have some kind of lathe that can make this cylinder and fill it in, that would probably look better. So next we have to make it level here on the side. So right about there is level on my center here. And now I'm gonna make my mark with the next hole. All right. And take my next screw, put it in. And this should be all set. And then I tighten up the top. All right, let's double check that it's straight. All right, and it looks good. Now let's tighten up this top here. I couldn't fully reach it with the impact. All right, and that's pretty sturdy. Now, I'm going to take the top that we have. With the packet, we had a screw knob here, which I'll take off to show you. And it came with this uh, bolt screw assembly, essentially. So it screws into this little hook here, and then you can screw it into the top of this. Now we just screw it in. There we go. And it's nice and tight. And there we go. There's a top. There's also a switch here that's off and on. This is currently switched on. So make sure you set that appropriately. And the rest of the housing here, um, this light in particular has kind of like a turn knob. So if we set it in a little bit crooked, it sets in just in place and then we just turn it. And there we go. It should be all set. Um, I don't think this has any other settings other than off and on. This should take probably half a day of sunlight to charge. Um, you shouldn't have any overhang of whatever you're placing this on to block it from charging. There's four sun solar panels here, one in the front, two on the side, and then one in the back. Um, so anything cover that will block the solar regeneration of the battery. Um, there is a possibility of swapping this out. so. In case this thing dies, you can always replace it and get a new one. So next we move on to taking that old um, wiring and making it an outlet. All right, so this is a close-up of the hole that came through the inside of the shed. Here is the wiring that I pushed through. And you can trace it all the way back to the breaker box. So depending on your application, you can either wire knot it or just house it to a new outlet and that's where the outside is. So now I'll show you how to put in the new outlet and cover this new hole that uh, you can clearly see can let bugs in. All right, so first is the hole we initially created. I have a caulk gun here ready to fill in the hole. And you can get a pest control 
um, caulking that will stop any critters coming through that. Um, I don't have that in particular, so I didn't put that in there. And now we have this cord we can hook up an outlet to. So I think I'll have plenty of room to set this in here. So I'll just hammer this in. And then I have two nails here I can just hammer in on the 2x4 stud, or rather 2x6 I think this is. should be in there good enough and now we have the electrical cable to shove in so I had already pre-opened a slot here and I can get my ground my neutral and my hot wire here and I'm ready to install the new outlet all right so now i have my outlet here um, we have three wires of course ground we have white which is neutral and black which is hot there's the typical terms if you look on the outlet typically they should have this green screw here that's your ground um, one side is your white which is cold or neutral and then of course you have the black which is hot so in this case we have white on this side so I'm going to take my white here and connect it I'm going to curve it if we go back to our electrical basics we should get a nice little wrap in there there we go it's nice and snug same with the hot I had already done the ground prior to this, so I got a nice snug fit on there. Now my hot's in there. So I'm gonna take my screwdriver next and get in this ground. There we go. Good, nice connection there. Doesn't feel loose, doesn't squirm around. That is exactly what we want. So we'll do the same with the white. Now if you have a more modern outlet, they might have these plug-ins, which are essentially holes in the back of the outlet here on the back. This one has it, but this is the traditional way. Um, typically you just hook these cables and screw it in and it's all set. So, this seems fine, nice and snug. And the way those hook-ins work is the same methodology where you plug them in, you, you uh, screw in the screw, and then it should be nice and snug. So, same principle, it's just easier. You don't have to hook your cables or anything. And, uh, it should be uh, even easier than the traditional method. So let's get in that hot. And obviously if we had the power on or any kind of electricity flowing, I'd be electrocuted and uh, wouldn't be a happy story. But um, this is all set, so we can check again. All of these are snug good tight connection I can't easily remove these uh, next we put it in unfortunately the screws fell so now I gotta go find those alright so I got my screws finally and I'm gonna shove this in place let me get this in here there we go that's a lot easier with a Phillips but I have a flat head so so I'm gonna have to deal with for the time being. Just like that. And then 
Let me just this one. All right, that's in. Now I can get my impact and just drive it home really quick. Let me get that in there. All right, that's in there, nice and sturdy. Now we get our cover in there and it's a little dirty because it was on the floor, but that's all right. You can always clean it, no problem. And we just cover this plate. There we go. Looking good. And now we have a brand new outlet we can use in our shed, your garage, whatever it may be. And you don't have to reroute this wire. You can repurpose it. It'll work perfectly fine. As long as your uh, breaker can handle the amps you put through it, in this case it's 15, so anything 15 amps and under uh, should be perfectly fine. We cover this caulk hole, or just this hole in general. Um, make sure you get some kind of pest control caulk if it reaches the outside. Uh, in my case, I didn't have it, so maybe in a year or two I'll have to, you know, upkeep it and swap it out with pest control caulk or some kind of foam insulation and deal with it. Um, we can use this, turn the power back on, it should work perfectly fine. And um, yeah, that's about it. If you haven't uh, been able to get an outlet in here, of course you'd have to either cap this wire that I mentioned before, or you can take this wire out and trace it back to the breaker box remove it and remove that breaker if it's connected or if there's multiple plugs I would suggest cap it or um, of course you could get an electrician that'll make sure that's safe but capping it should be perfectly fine as it's a uh, open circuit and th there should be no connection to it so I, I wouldn't worry about it all right so there you have it installing a wired lamp outdoor sconce light to a wireless solar lamp um, and repurposing it to an electrical outlet. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions, comments, please leave them below in the uh, comment section and I'll get back to you. Thanks.